How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Saturday afternoon. Earthmaster here, about 4 o'clock West Coast time here. And, uh, September 7, 2024, got a large earthquake coming into the Tonga area. Pretty shallow earthquake here as well. This is a 6.0 earthquake coming into the area of Tonga, right along the Tonga Trench. Super shallow up here. Of course, a lot of deeper activity here recently, adding some further strain up here across this area. No tsunami will be associated with this. Uh, it's too, uh, too shallow for one. Well, too uh, small, I guess, is the magnitude I'm looking for right there. So either way, that's a, a decent uptick, though. As uh, far as the daily activity goes here, uh, I know uh, New Zealand area was seeing some movement up and down the plate boundary here yesterday. That had calmed down, but it looks like things are starting to pick back up here now in the area of New Zealand and uh, the various areas out here. There's a 3.8 there along the plate boundary, it looks like, uh, as well from earlier today. Still keeping an eye on uh, California, but goodness, we got a lot of global unrest right now taking place out here. Uh, a lot of earthquake activity all over the place, and that includes California here, uh, where we've seen a, a swarm of earthquake activity down along the uh, Southern California region, Ontario area. Got about 35 earthquakes here. Really no main quake. Um, it started off with a 3.5, but if you look here through the magnitudes, there was a 3.9 and uh, various other twos in there as well. So, uh, you know, we can't say that this started off with a 5 and that we're just seeing a bunch of aftershock activity. That's um, definitely interesting out here. And Dr. Lucy Jones did post a statement on this saying that she has seen several swarms out here before in this location, that it's pretty common. But, you know... If you exclude all this other earthquake activity we've seen here over the last few weeks, yeah, then you could say, yeah, this is pretty common here. You know, nothing of abnormal activity. But when you mix in the 5.2 elevated activity at Ridgecrest, the Puente Hills Thrust Fault activity, various swarms across other areas of Southern California, when you put that whole mix in here, it's just getting closer and closer here to the San Andreas Fault. So uh, continue to be on guard here, folks. I don't think we're done with this activity whatsoever. I think we're going to see things advance further. Uh, one earthquake outside of Mount Shasta up here. Goodness, what do we got here? 2.0 and a 2.1. That's in my backyard out here. Well, Mount Lassen's out here in my backyard. Uh, but Mount Shasta, you can see everywhere. Um, for about 100 miles or so, you can see this beautiful volcano. Maybe even more than that. Uh, a couple smaller earthquakes. I'll check this out a little bit later on this evening, um, about five to four miles below the surface here on the southwestern or southeastern edge here of Mount Shasta. It's been a little while since we've seen any earthquake activity up there, but you know, along with the Cascadia subduction zone, you got tremor activity, right? And the tremor activity obviously will elevate the volcanoes out here across the Cascades and Mount Shasta here at the southern end. But for now, folks, uh, stay safe. 6.0 earthquake, Tonga area. And um, yeah, let's see here. That looks like one of the signatures there from that six-pointer back at 22, uh, right around 2250. I think that's what that is. And that's, that's another local earthquake there around um, Japan, uh, which has been getting quite a bit of uh, deeper activity as well today. So... We'll just see what happens, you know, quite active out here in terms of plate adjustment and plate movement right now. So uh, be on guard, folks. We'll catch you guys back out here for the Saturday night update. Coming up here in a few hours. It's still pretty early, though. Have a good one. Stay safe.